Hello and welcome to Musicology for the People's first year anniversary! To celebrate such an exciting video, I thought I would introduce you to a good friend of mine. I made a video about her before, but now you finally get to meet her. Say hello to Hildegard von Bingen. Yeah, so today we are going to make some delicious cookies I have made called Cookies That Bring You Joy. Now, these are some delicious cinnamon cookies that reduce bad humors and fortify the blood and they're going to be absolutely delicious. Now Hildegard, you found this because along with being a fantastic composer, you're also a scientist and doctor, right? Yeah, that's hellish. I've written several books about medicines and the healing properties of herbs. I also have a whole diet program you can follow to make you a healthier person and to reduce that despicable black bile. I'm sorry, black bile? Shit. If you have more black bile than any other bile, you're angrier and more prone to other diseases. Right, so what are the ingredients we're gonna be using? Also, we will be using 12 tablespoons of butter, 3 fourths cup of brown sugar, and 1 third cup of honey. Whoa, whoa, hold on, that's a lot of butter and sugar. Weren't these supposed to be healthy cookies? What's wrong with butter? Nothing, you're right. There is nothing wrong with butter. What else do we need? And we will need four egg yolks, two and a half cups of spelt flour, and one teaspoon salt, and then of course, my special spice mix. What is in the spice mix? There will be one tablespoon of nutmeg, one tablespoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of cloves. Hildegard, that sounds delicious. And very good for the health. So how do we get started on this recipe? First, we must melt the butter over the hearth. Where's your hearth? Oh, sorry, Hildegard, we only have a gas stove. Hmm, well, it will have to do. While we melt this butter, you should prepare the dry ingredients. Flour, salt, one teaspoon cloves, one tablespoon cinnamon, one tablespoon nutmeg. This looks pretty well mixed to me, Hildegard. So good. Now that that's done and the butter is melted, let's add the honey, sugar, and eggs. One third cup honey, three fourths cup brown sugar, and four egg yolks. Now that this is all mixed, we shall add it to the dry ingredients. Just like this. And then we just mix it all together. All this blessed goodness. That smells so good. This does smell good, but unfortunately now it must go into the refrigerator for an hour, which should give us just enough time to sing through my Ordo Virtutum. We should rope your roommate into singing the devil character. Ooh, I'm sure he's gonna love that. Sam, come here. <laughs> should be done now. Do you want to get it out of the ice box? Good, good. Now let's roll this dough out onto a floured surface and press down something circular to make circular cookies. Do you have a good goblet? That works well. I don't have any goblets, but I do have these woodland creature cookie cutters. Well, I suppose we can break with tradition. Aw, see, look at how cute they are. Good. Now these go into the oven at 400 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. Where's your hourglass? It's right here on my wrist, Hildy. So what got you into science and health? Well, as a child, I was quite ill, and being the youngest of 10 children, I had to fend for myself. So as early as I can remember, God would grant me visions to help me get better and to give me direction with my life. And after I was dedicated to the church as a nun at also a very young age, God granted me health and helped me to heal others as he had healed me. Wow, that's really interesting. God doesn't really give me any visions, but I guess that's what makes you the saint, right? Yes, yes, we have a very special relationship. But there is something I must tell you about these cookies. Children can only have three per day, and adults should really only have five per day. Five per day? That seems a bit excessive, doesn't it? No! These cookies are good for your soul and they reduce the effects of aging. Whoa, whoa, I'm only 22. I don't need to worry about that yet, Hildy. Oh, so? 22 years old and still not married with children? 
You must be planning to dedicate yourself to the church like me. Um, you know, the cookies are probably done. Why don't we take those out and see how they look? Ooh. Oh, wow, those look fantastic. Yes, they do. Let's eat these and make our spirits happy. Well, hold on, Hildegard. We have to say goodbye to the internet. Oh, yeah, natürlich. Auf Wiedersehen, Internet! Be sure to subscribe and check out the Facebook and Twitter pages associated with Musicology for the People. I've had a great year making videos for you guys, and I look forward to many years more. Until next week, tschüss! Musicology.